from this script. You know, it had a little bit of everything, but I also really, <coughs> really wanted to do a gritty romance. You know, because True Romance, I think, is one of my favorite movies ever, and I just love the contrast of this tender love surrounded by this crazy violence. And For me, it read like the, the Graduate with blood in his mouth. <laughs> you know, the Graduate yes. was one of my favorite movies, and, and it just seemed like a like like a you know the Graduate with broken nose. It seemed like. A, you know, that was sort of right up my alley, and, and uh, it spoke honestly to me. It was really original. I mean, it, I remember putting it down at first and thinking, oh, this is the craziest thing ever. <laughs> and falling in love, and then chasing it for three years, and then chasing her, and then, you know, I, that's the other thing is, I've chased Evan for so long. And you know, ditto. And with yeah. other projects that have fallen apart, and so, like my mother would say, this is just sort of bichette, you know, meant to be kind of uh, happenstance, you know. You know, getting to know Shia a little bit, well, a lot, actually. <laughs> um, you know, we, we hung out, we got to know each other, and, you know, I think we both feel very deeply, we love very deeply, yeah. we're very passionate, so I think we both had an understanding of where these characters were coming from and what kind of love they they had. So, and I think we, we just knew that about each other immediately, so we knew that we were going to be on the same page and matching one another with that. And I, I, I can only speak for me on this point. You know, first of all, like, I, her husband I look up to very much as well as an actor, right? But he's also, I knew him before I knew Evan. And he's been one of those guys I knew when I was 10, you know? It was like, this dude will be around forever. Billy Elliot is the shit, right? I knew that <laughs> from then. And, and I've always looked up to the dude, always, my whole life. And there's, so there's always been this sort of, he's the mads, right? And so I could play off that in my mind. And I was going through a breakup in the midst of going out to Romania. And she knew all about it because it was happening in the midst. You know, I'd come to set and to get me there, I'd, put, I, I'd have my computer right there on the chair with pictures. You know? I mean, you remember this, you know? and and and. This is the kind of stuff that I do, you know, sort of inform thoughts and feelings and things like that. Um, everybody works differently, but my shit's sort of all out there in the open. Uh, you know, and I always felt like Evan would always run from me, you know? Or like, oh man, why is she at dinner tonight? Or, damn, why is she in the gym? Where is she? I always had this constant, like... Chase. Yeah. <laughs> so it, this was happening. It coincided with our shooting. And I remember coming to Frederick, like, oh man, Jamie's still out here. He's so fucking handsome, he's so buff, and this, and it just worked, it just worked, I mean, we, it, it, it worked, you know, and then it formed my side, for sure, you know, what was the, what was, what do you think was the hardest scene for you, and I can throw this to both of you guys, I think the scene, you know, the, 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 well, the beginning and last scene of the film, when we're on top of that, mm. damn, you know, it, it was interesting, because Shia was really doing that stunt, he was really dangling over that water, by one foot, so that was blowing their mind. And it was the most emotional, you know, it was it was gaining a love and losing a love at the same time. So there was so much emotion I had to be feeling, um, you know, and it was, that was the most intense, intense scene, I think. How did, you know, we, uh, me and Frederick were out there for about, you know, I feel for like a month and a half before, and we'd scouted the location, and I remember looking at him when he first picked it, going, okay, buddy, wow, how are we gonna do this one? And, and also, you know, Romanian stunt team, you know, you gotta look them in the eye and trust them completely, wholeheartedly, like you would on a Transformer set or an Indiana Jones set. And you got a very different group, you know, with communication issues. Uh, you know, not everybody speaks English. And, you know, and then you're tying something around your foot and they're putting you right there, you know. Uh, not only that, it wasn't just that, but we had a bunch of lighting gags up there. And, uh, you know, we had this big neon Bucharestian sign uh, and I remember getting up there and the guy says, now listen, the danger isn't really falling into the water because you might hurt yourself, but you're gonna survive that. It's if you swing into this light, there is no way you'll survive that. <laughs> you don't swing too much, you know, but at the same time, I'm supposed to be fighting for my life and I'm getting shot, I'm getting dropped, and I'm going through the emotions with her, and it, it's a loaded moment. Um, but I think that this is a great example of an actor being able to fall on circumstance uh, as a, uh, as something to lean on to give you safety and comfort. Um, the goal of the actor is to be honest, right? And if you're in a situation like that, you really got no choice. What are you over the way? Sometimes it's comedy stuff, you know, the tone is really tricky to find. And if we didn't have a guy like James who could riff like this and find the kind of comfort that we have, we wouldn't have been able to find these scenes. You know, and, and that's imperative, because the movie just becomes so hard hitting that it's no longer enjoyable to watch. You need levity, you need a breath. And it was, um, I mean, before, before our scenes, we did, I think we spent probably like maybe five or six times going going through it every time just before we do a scene mm. because we didn't know exactly how we wanted to do right. that scene when we turned up. So 
that was actually a really, really nice way to work because you, you found, you ended up finding a path and a groove that felt really natural and then it was like, yeah, we found it, let's go, let's roll the cameras now. Yeah. And um, it was nice to be able to have the, you know, to have that time to be able to do that. And um, it, was just, it was good fun. It was really good fun filming. And it's not easy to keep those scenes tangible and anchored. You know, and they're not funny if they're not truthful. Great parts about Romania too. I didn't want to be too down there. There's some beautiful people there, and Romania is very good to us. I just oh yeah, to add. I mean, yeah. we all felt like we we love that place. It's a yeah. tough, it's yeah. a tough nut to crack, mm -hmm. like Gabby, uh, <laughs> Bucharest, but it's an amazing place with with people that has a pride that yeah. uh, that's a beyond a lot of other <laughs> nations, I would say, and and strength, you know. Mm -hmm. So uh, the, the yeah, Romanian yeah, actors yeah, yeah. were incredible and theatrical in a way and helped with the fairy tale of it all. You know, Romanian actors have this theatrical element, this romanticism in their language mm -hmm. that informed uh, our interactions with them, you know, and informed your, your accent to a certain degree mm -hmm. and how musical her, some of the words that she's saying, how musical some of the dialogue is. I think in Romania it sort of, it, it, it helped the romanticism of the language.